Hey guys, I want to do a quick little update here on what's going on with the catfish in the fish tank because I'm about to make some extreme radical changes in the dining room in regards to how this whole thing is set up and I just want to do an update before I make any further moves. Okay guys, long story short, there's the fish tank and there is the greenhouse out there. That's where they're supposed to be but I jumped the gun and I got the fish before I was ready to put them in the spot that they're designated for and now I'm having to deal with that situation. So you see here my nitrates are still reading zero. I want to take advantage of this situation while I still can before it, uh, it gets out of control and I lose my grip on things. If you don't know what this is all about basically you put your fish in a tank at the proper pH and then the fish produce ammonia. Um, bacteria shows up, consumes the ammonia, produces nitrite. Then another bacteria shows up, consumes the nitrite, produces nitrate. Nitrate is the least toxic of all these byproducts and it can be used as a nitrogen source for plants. So I need to get plants going so they can consume the nitrate, which in turn will make it so that I do not have to do water changes. And one other quick little note is the pH. Um, I've had to start raising the pH. It goes from 7 to about 6.4 in about, in about 5 or 6 days. So I've been raising it about once a week at least. I've been starting to raise it. I've done it twice so far. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some 4 inch ABS pipe. I'm going to attach it on the wall, run it to the corner, and then I'll run it alongside to that corner. Drill holes in the pipe put plants in the pipe and then run the fish water through it over and then back into the fish tank. If you don't know any different, that's called an NFT system and that's what I'm going to set up in here. So what I've done since my last video, I've added some, I've got some uh, clippings of rosemary there. Um, they haven't produced any roots that I can really tell as of yet. Otherwise, we've been kind of going bonkers on the avocados and we've also got some celery here. We've learned, uh, the missus discovered a few things that you can re-sprout from the grocery store. So anyway, this is celery. That's all new growth right there. They've only been in, that's only been in there for four or five days. And then we've got an onion and that's re-sprouting. And this is a uh, butter crunch lettuce and this is supposed to re-sprout as well, but I haven't noticed any growth on this as of yet. Last time I reported that these were pothos and upon further research it looks like these are called wandering jew everything that we have introduced to the fish water is doing great at this point i'm on day 17 as far as giving the fish one gram per day um, that's what they're consuming comfortably um, i'm not i'm not feeling like i should be pushing it too much further than that right now i think they're close to bumping it up but this is where i feel comfortable still for the moment so I'm not going to weigh the fish today, but I would say the runt, which weighed in at three grams last time, I would say is, is probably close to being doubled. I can't, I'm having a hard time finding him anymore these days. He's, he's growing quite a bit. Everybody's getting really big. I've got seven fish in there and this is a 55 gallon tank. So we're talking somewhere, you know, because there's head space there. So we're talking probably between six to eight gallons of water per fish. Um, which is recommended stocking densities for for catfish from what I can tell no more than five gal or no no less than five gallons per fish is kind of what I've come across so by making the changes that I plan on making I'll alleviate a lot of things I will keep the fish in a good health condition I will be producing a nitrogen source for plants plants will be consuming the nitrate I won't have to be doing water changes and I'll also alleviate a lot of pressure on myself because the greenhouse is not going as fast as I thought it would. Um, between work, kids, and weather has kicked into high gear and made it almost impossible for me to get out there and, and do stuff. So this will alleviate a lot of pressure and keep things with the fish going at full steam ahead. So it's not every day that you see somebody stick a, a bunch of sewer pipe up in their dining room and connect it to a fish tank, but that's gonna be my next video.